about how you're doing. I hope you're all doing well. So I have, I've been wanting to do this video for literally over a year now. This is something that I have been so excited and anticipating now for such a long time. And this is the first time I can actually show it as well. The Draw Your Own Adventure by myself. <laughs> it's finally here. It's my activity book that's filled with prompts and activities and coloring pages. And I've been wanting to do an entire series showing everything that's inside the book for over a year now. And I've obviously not been able to do it because I've, it's not been out yet. And it's still not out till December 17th. However, it's in my hands. This is my first copy of it. I'm so freaking excited. And I'm so happy with how it just, it feels nice. It's like, does it have the book smell? Oh, so it's lay flat. Look at that. Each page, no matter which page you go onto, it's like a lay flat. So you never have to worry about it like being a pain. I'm so excited. Here's the back. It has a barcode. So you know it's legit. But yeah, this is this is my book. I'm so excited. I really am. I've done like a really long video talking all about it if you want to check that out on my second channel. But I have spent years now promoting other people's products and friends' products and brands' products. So I hope that you don't mind that I start a series where I actually promote something that I did, something that I am really, really proud of and something that I took my years of experience as both an artist and it's filled with challenges and prompts and things that I have done on my channel in the past. It's basically just a compilation of some of my favorite things to do, whether it be in a prompt book or an art book or whether it be a challenge or something. Um, I just, I'm really, really proud of this. I'm so, so excited and I hope that so many of you like it too. This is probably in all of my career, everything I've done for my career, this is probably the best thing that I've ever done and I am most proud of. So yeah, I'm so excited. I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. I'm so excited. Look, it's right here. It's actually in my hands. I think I'm just most excited to see what people's reactions are to the book. Like, I think it's a good book, but like, obviously it's not till people actually get it and use it themselves that I'm gonna know if it's actually a good book. But yeah, this is it. Draw your own adventure. This is the spine on the side here. So they took a bunch of illustrations of mine from inside and then they like colorized them to sort of show like, oh, you know, you can draw it yourself. Here you go. But yeah, this is the front. The spine. Fine, has my name on it. And then the back. Boredom and art block be gone. Fall down the rabbit hole of creativity and get lost in this colorful world. Chloe Rose is the artist and creator behind the YouTube and social media sensation Chloe Rose Art. Can I just say I did not write that about myself? The only thing I did write was the about the author page. This was the only thing that I wrote about myself. And I don't take myself seriously. So this is th the best I could do. Let's jump on into it. One thing I did not have control over though was the paper. So one thing I will say about this paper, a lot of people were asking me and it wasn't something I could really answer until I got the book myself. This is like your standard thick coloring book paper. Like this isn't, this isn't flimsy paper by any means, but this unfortunately cannot be used with markers unless you want it to be seeping through to the other side. Most coloring books aren't really marker friendly. Most paper isn't marker friendly. So yes, you could use markers, but obviously because each side has its own design, you can't really prevent it from going through the other side. This would be be perfect though, just like other coloring books to use coloring pencils. I also would recommend paint pens. Obviously, if you're coloring the whole page and using paint pens, it might go a little bit warped, but generally speaking, you can use paint pens on this book as well. Just markers, like alcohol markers, I wouldn't recommend. So yeah, here we go. Draw your own adventure. This book, it has a story element to it. So obviously I'm gonna go through the whole story with you. For thousands of years, artists have abandoned their sketches. Incomplete artwork and doodles are left to collect dust creative potential with nowhere to go. These incomplete drawings get sent to the lost sketches realm. And if you aren't careful, you may find yourself drawn to its doorways. These doorways are sometimes disguised as a simple sketchbook. And the only way to escape it is to complete it. You have been warned. So this is the very first page. I have shown this one before, but I'll go through it again. You find a small bookstore in a quaint town. The book spines appear blank. So you draw the spines to look like some of your favorite books. In the middle of the stacks, you notice a red book. Drawn to it, you pick it up. So the prompt on this page is you have to color in all of the books. You can do it however you want. I personally was like, I'm going to color in some of the spines of my favorite books because I like books. I like to read and I figured it would be fun to sort of just color them in however I want, but maybe do a few like the spines of my favorite books. So I'm going to do a few pages today and walk you through. But yeah, if you would like to see this as a series, let me know. I feel so surreal that I'm actually coloring this in now. Oh gosh, I'm coloring outside the lines. How embarrassing. <laughs> I receive a lot of emails for brand partnerships and the ones that you see on my channel are the only ones that I genuinely recommend that I myself use either on a daily basis 
have used on a daily basis, or I'm just a massive, massive fan of the product. I was recently approached by Factor. I have one of their boxes here. I actually subscribed to this for months leading up to my wedding because I was really, really drawn in by the simplicity of having meals there when we were so incredibly busy planning our wedding, working extra to have time off for our honeymoon, and also preparing for a move. Hot and fresh. That's what I love about Factor. These meals are fresh. They are not frozen. I really love that it cuts down on my grocery shop trips and cooking because we both work full time. We're very busy people. It literally takes two minutes to cook. Plus, these meals are chef prepared and all taste amazing. I've never had a bad one. I also really love that they offer so many options that makes it easy to stick to my goals. The best thing is Factor offers 35 wholesome meals every single week, including gourmet plus, keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie. So you'll always find something that you love that suits your lifestyle. Plus they even have easy breakfasts and smoothies and midnight snacks. Factor has 60 plus add-ons to keep you fueled and focused 24 seven. So if you want to try it for yourself, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code ChloeRoseArt50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's Chloe Rose Art 50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. I kind of wanted to use my experience with, you know, art block and just being creative and sort of putting it all into one thing, which is where I came up with the concept of this book because I really, really wanted something that didn't exist, but also was like a combination of things I personally loved. Like I love coloring books. I also like challenges. I also like sort of prompt books as well. I'm actually gonna make these bookshelves be nice and like deep wood color for these bookshelves because it's like an old mysterious bookshelf in an old bookshop. So it's very magical and mystical. You can say that about a bookshelf, but... Also, if you're someone that posts videos on YouTube and you buy this book and you make any videos about it, please, please, please make sure you let me know because I would so, so love to watch people fill this book up. I think I'm gonna make this one a VC Andrews book because I really like VC Andrews books. Not the ghost written ones though, the one she passed away. I like the original VC Andrews books. These three, I am going to use a pen. So this one's gonna be the Enchanted Wood. The Magic Far Away Tree. And then the Folk of the Far Away Tree. Those are my favorite stories when I was little and actually inspired me a lot with my story with this. The whole concept of going to a different land. I've come to realize I'm actually not that good at coloring because I'm definitely getting outside of the lines, which is quite embarrassing considering I'm releasing my own book that involves a lot of coloring and drawing. But maybe, gosh, I'm so bad. Look at this, that's so bad. Maybe this book will make me better because <laughs> I can't color for sh Something else a lot of people ask me is like the age range for this book. Honestly, I made it for people my age in mind, but also I left it to be a book that it's sort of easy for anyone of any age to do it because there's probably prompts and like ideas and, and parts of the story that you can make it as simple or as complex as you want to. There's really no age limit on it, which is nice, I think, because you can kind of, as an adult, do this with, you know, a teenager or like a preteen. I should have done it in like a rainbow, shouldn't I? That would have looked quite good. This is like a bit of an obscure one, but I loved it when I was a kid. I'm gonna use my paint marker and just write the word Danny on here. If you liked Roald Dahl books, let me know if you ever read Danny the Champion of the World. Because it's one I feel like you don't hear about too much. But I read it as a kid for school. My mum told me to read that one in particular because she'd read it when she was younger. And I thought it was gonna be really bad, but it was actually really, really entertaining. And I remember reading it on my summer break and it was a really good book. I'm gonna put Charlie because I love Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Right, 
Okay, so I'm going to do one down here. Because I actually really love the Sarah J Mass series, The Court of Thorns and Roses. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Everyone's into these books at the moment. And for good reason, they are actually very, very good. The one series I just cannot get into, though, that everyone else loves is the Iron Flame series. I've tried and I've tried. I just find it like, I don't know. There's something about that book. I just find it, I don't know. I just can't seem to finish it. I don't know what it is about that book, but I just couldn't get into it in the same way I get into the Sarah J Mass books. I don't know. Maybe they're just not for me. I'm just going to call it Thorns. find a place for twilight joking actually i did enjoy those books when i was younger i read them in like five days but i'm not gonna put them on here because i'll never hear the end of it Okay, so I've done this so far. Pretty happy with it. I want to add another book, though, that I really loved when I was younger. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And I had to look up to figure out how it was spelled because I forgot. I'm just going to use a marker and put it, like... I'll put it on this big book because it was a series. That should have been a little bit more central. But I didn't think that through, did I? Home for Peculiar Child. That's fine. And then this one was like a little grey book. So we're just gonna make this one a little bit gray. Okay, we're on the last shelf now. I'm gonna color this in and then we can call this page done. Okay, so there is our bookshelf all complete with a few sporadic books in there that I used to love when I was younger or mostly books I loved when I was little, but also there's a couple books in here that I love as an adult as well. But yeah, I really like this page. It's nice and colorful now. So we notice the red book, we're drawn to it, we pick it up and we go to the next page and boom, now we have a bear. Is anyone surprised? I'm gonna actually use a paint pen on this page, I think because it'll make it super vibrant with this little hat. So this is Berlin, and in the blink of an eye, you are drawn inside the book and met with a strange looking bear with bad fashion sense. Hello, my name is Berlin. Not like Berlin, it's like Berlin. Berlin, okay? <laughs> and I am just gonna go ahead and color in this little hat and his cape. Hello, my name is Berlin. You opened my sketchbook. I've been trapped here in the lost sketches realm with no way out. I tried to buy another sketchbook without completing the last four I had. So this one has me trapped until I finish it. Please help me complete my sketches so we can both get out of here. So that's essentially what it is. You're helping Berlin the bear and yourself escape the book by completing it. I realized I put that star in a very precarious place, didn't I? <laughs> okay, let's do some splatters. So yeah, the premise of the book is that you're supposed to be helping this bear. Who, don't worry, it's not a bear book. Like, he barely, barely <laughs> appears in this book. It's just, oh, I've opened this book. Here's a bear. Wow, he needs to escape. Let's help him. And that's pretty much it. a little highlight on the cape and the hat. I love paint pens. And then, do we make Berlin this color? Is that a brownish, I guess, sort of bear-like color? I'm gonna redraw the lines because I feel like it would look better. I'm gonna keep Berlin nice and simple because he's still a little wet from the pen. 
let's move on to our next page. Suddenly, Berlin is gone, and in his place a bizarre bouquet of balloons, birds, and floating rockets appears. Attached to it is your favourite possession. You know, the first thing you'd save in a fire if you had to. Once you're done drawing it, a balloon, rocket, bird, bouquet shoots off into the sky with you holding it. So what would I save in a fire? I mean, my dogs. Absolutely. But I don't think you can really call those objects or possessions, can you? I'd say my wedding album, but we don't actually have them in an album yet. We just have them digitally downloaded, so I don't really have to worry about that. I don't want to be sad and say, oh, my laptop, because, I mean, my laptop was expensive, and that would probably be the most expensive thing to save. To be honest, if we're not counting, like, people and animals here, the one thing I'd probably save is- Oh, I just remembered. I know what I'd save. I know what I'd save. Everything that I own can be replaced or is backed up somewhere. The one thing I can't replace is my little white bunny rabbit that my mum gave me when I was little. That is one thing I've had since childhood that I cannot replace. So that's probably what I would- I would put on here. So I could do the bunny holding on. Yeah. So my bunny kind of looks like that. It's my childhood toy and it's the one thing that I can't replace. Okay, I think this was a Chinese lantern. So let's color that in. I could have done it purple really, couldn't I? To be like Tangled-esque, but oh well. Okay, there is my balloon page with my prized possession on it, my little bunny rabbit. Next up, I'm going to do these two pages and then I'll leave it at that today and I'll make this whole video a series so that if you want to see me complete the entire book, I'll complete like four to six pages every single time I make a video like this. And when the book comes out, if you want to sit with me and complete the pages alongside the video, then you absolutely can. So slowly the balloons begin to pop and the birds fly away. You're left on the ground. You notice a woman in red looking out at what used to be a beach. It seems faded away. You take it upon yourself to bring back the ocean and sand. Then you draw a picnic basket on the swing next to the woman. Fun fact, this woman is actually me looking out at the ocean on the Bahamas. I went for like two days right after we got engaged. And I really like this picture of myself on the beach because like, I mean, you can't see me. It's literally just a hat and a dress, but I was looking out onto this like beautiful crystal blue water and I just thought it would make for a fun prompt. This whole book, honestly, is like about me, things I love, places in my life. This is like from Arthurian legend. I love anything related to that. Uh, coffee, I just, I like coffees and lattes and stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and do this now. So what I'll probably do is do like a line for the ocean. That's a wobbly line. Maybe use a ruler for this. Okay, that works. So we have the ocean and then we have like, let's do like a dune, a dune of sand or something. Like, like a, a sand ledge. But this here is the water, this will be the sand, this will be the sky. Um, then we need to do a picnic basket on here. Let's do some sand. And what I might do is a little shadow underneath for the girl on the swing. Or me. <laughs> but I might want to do... Wait, so the sun's going to be here. So we'll say the sun's over here. So then I'll add some darker bits in here, a shadow. Not really sure why I'm doing the shadow in orange, but whatever, that's fine. Normally I would maybe put it in blue, but that will work. Ooh, I should do a little starfish, like on the ground. A little pink starfish. I mean, honestly, if you're not really an artist or you don't like to draw all that much, but you like to color, you don't even have to add any of this. You could literally just color in the swing if you wanted to. Because the book also has things like regular coloring pages like this. But obviously it does have elements of drawing, so just keep that in mind. But every single page has some sort of prompt on it that kind of guides you. Really only I think there's maybe four or five completely blank pages in this book. Everything has something on the page. Um, so you're always gonna have some sort of interactive element to go by. I'm gonna leave this one as it is for now. I might end up coming back to it later, but this was kind of the vibe I'm going for. But I really want to get onto this one because this one looks really fun to actually colour in. I've been so excited for this page for such a long time. 
The woman in red is not moving, so you decide to peek into the picnic basket. Using only red, yellow, and pink shades, colour in the page. But watch out for wasps. They might come to life the second you colour them in. So we won't be doing that. But yeah, I kind of put in some little challenges here and there as well. So you're sort of also limited in what you can do. So we can't even use orange. Damn, I didn't think that through, did I? I need some orange in here, but I guess not. So these are lemons. Oh shoot, I just used green. I just, uh, I'm not supposed to use green. Let's pretend I didn't make this book and write that because I just put green in it. Okay, let's pretend I didn't do that. I'm gonna make the orange container red. It's kinda orange because I put yellow over the top of the red, but I did not use orange. I just used red and yellow and that's not cheating. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna color in these wasps now. Okay, so that's my yellow, red, and pink page. Not so keen on this one, but I feel like I might go back to that at some point. But that is the video for today. That is part one of Draw Your Own Adventure. I did the first page with a bookshelf, and then I did the second page with Berlin, the third page with a little bouquet of balloons and your prized possession. We have the ocean scene, and we have the picnic basket. When I do a part two later this year, uh, we'll cover some of these other pages here, as you can see. I'm really excited for this one, though because we can like do the outlines yeah these are just some of the pages we'll be doing in the next video but yes thank you so so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it i will leave links to draw your own adventure down in the description down below if you are interested in checking it out it would mean the world to me and if you do receive it or you already have bought it and you can leave a review once it's available on the 17th of december it helps so 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 much but for now thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next video